Welcome to The Daily Forecast, September 3rd, 2021. I'm Angie Lau, Editor-in-Chief of Forecast News, covering all things blockchain. Oh, the pressure. The crypto countdown is on in South Korea, with a clock ticking towards the September 24th deadline for crypto exchanges to comply with strict new regulations. Some of the smaller players are now actually making last-ditch attempts to get themselves up to par. We're going to talk about that and a whole lot more coming up. First up, crypto exchanges in South Korea racing against time to survive. The deadline to comply with new requirements for crypto exchanges is now just three weeks away. Aprobit, one of Korea's smaller exchanges, has unveiled a massive new recruitment plan with almost every department promising their full effort to meet compliance requirements before the deadline. Others, however, seem to be preparing to meet their fate on Judgment Day, and it could change the course of crypto in Korea forever. Forecast News' Danny Park reports. Aprobit announced that it is recruiting more manpower in compliance, management, and business development as part of efforts to strengthen its anti-money laundering capacity. Another small exchange still moving forward is Goldpax. It closed down its pro market that yielded revenue three times the price change, saying the move was essentially made to abide by the new regulations that prioritize user protection. However, others look as though they are close to throwing in the towel. Earlier this week, Coinbit announced that it closed down its Korean One deposit account after Shinan Bank notified suspension of services for the exchange. While Coin2x's website only shows a message that it will allow users to withdraw their crypto from September 8th. Industry members have been pushing for more time, and lawmakers Yoon Jang Hyun and Jo Myung Hee spearheaded bills to shift back the deadline by six months. But with only three weeks left, is there any chance left for exchanges in danger? 그래도 극적으로 연장이 되지 않을까라는 생각도 있어요. 그러니까 완전히 연장 되, 되지 않으면 일부라도 일부라도 좀 풀어지는 방향으로 가지는 않을까. 그래서 제가 보면 지금 현재는 신고가 된 데가 지금 어핏밖에 없어요. 어핏만. Looks like we're set for a tense three weeks ahead. For Forecast News, I'm Danny Park. Meanwhile, the crypto market is taking a breather after Bitcoin briefly peaked slightly above the 50,000 US dollar level Thursday night Asia time. Friday morning in Asia saw the larger altcoins outperforming Bitcoin, especially the smart contract contenders to Ethereum's throne. Both Cardano and Solana hit new all-time highs in the last 24 hours in Asia, and traders expect the bullish momentum to continue, with Cardano if officially launching its smart contract functionality next week. A lot of activity amongst investors during Asia hours. So how is it all playing out? Forecast News' Lucas Caccioli has the latest. While Bitcoin briefly peaked above 50,000 US dollars, it was hovering in the mid-49,000 range at 3 p.m. Hong Kong time on Friday. Cardano's price hit an all-time high of 3 US dollars and 10 cents on Thursday Asia time solidifying its position as the third biggest cryptocurrency, with a market cap exceeding 94 billion US dollars. The latest jump coincided with Cardano developers IOHK tweeting that the Alonzo upgrades allowing for smart contracts had been launched on a test network. Lucas Enzodorfer Conrad of Bitpanda told Forecast News he expects more action ahead of the official launch of Cardano smart contracts, which is expected on September 12th. Meanwhile, Solana gained 73% this week, hitting a high of just over 143 US dollars on Friday afternoon. It's a rising rival to Ethereum, as it's purpose built for DeFi and smart contract functionality. Ethereum itself isn't doing too badly either, with the price hitting a three month high this week and dominance rising to 20% of the total crypto market cap, its highest level since May this year. Ethereum is still the top smart contracts blockchain, but with Solana and Cardano rising fast, the battle for DeFi may be just beginning. For Forecast News, I'm Lucas Caccioli. And finally today, explosive trends are no stranger in the NFT world, and we've got our eye on the latest. You ready? It's fractionalization, and it looks like it could be the next buzzword in NFTs. That's if the tokenization of the iconic Doge meme is anything to go by. The original NFT has been split or fractionalized into almost 17 billion 
dog tokens and that's seen its valuation go through the roof hitting 360 million US dollars. The original meme sold to a collective of decentralized finance leaders called Pleaser Dow for around 4 million US dollars back in June. And the number of tokens now being sold looks to be an inside joke based around the price they paid back then, which was 169.6.9 ETH. Fractionalization offers regular investors the opportunity to own a slice of a much higher valued NFT, with Pleaser Dow stating on their blog that the owners of the new tokens will be able to vote collectively on future valuations of the whole NFT, allowing them to decide whether to accept an offer or not. Uncontrolled excitement, fever, muscle spasms? Watch out for the rabid doge meme spreading like wildfire. And that's the daily forecast from our vantage point right here in Asia. For more, visit forecast.news. I'm editor-in-chief Angie Lau. Until the next time.